Dearness Johnson, Orlando Apollo's shout out. Oh, yeah. Interestingly enough here, look, I really like their O-line. And with Baker Mayfield, a question mark at best, I don't know what it means to say if it's up to him because I think that means he will play because I can't imagine him being like, you know what, guys, I'm going to sit this one out. <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of rushing opportunities. This entire offense is designed around rushes. Dearness Johnson, 100% of his touches last game were lined up in the backfield. So I don't necessarily think it's going to be too much of a share. That's a good call, especially since the Cleveland Browns have the most rush attempts per game this season. I like Khalil Herbert. Rank, you called it. Good job, awesome. buddy. Khalil Herbert cool. still available in just over 50% of NFL.com leagues. He had 18-plus carries in two straight games, so maybe it wasn't a one-game fluke, and I should have listened oh. last week. Oh but if you are someone who did not listen like me, now's the opportunity to listen and go and grab Khalil Herbert. It's like when you walked up to me earlier today, you're like, I just saw this great movie you've probably never seen. It's called San Andreas. And I'm like, yeah, I saw it years ago. It stars The Rock. It's one of the greatest movies ever made. Uh, you know what? I'll go a little bit off menu here. I'm going to talk about Rashad Bateman. I think that right now, uh, assuming that a lot of those running backs are already off the board, I think this is an opportunity to go out there and select somebody who could be a wide receiver one this season. Now, obviously, he didn't uh, have as many snaps as Marquise Hollywood Brown last week, but did have more targets. And I think it, it, as the season goes on, by the end of the year, Rashad Bateman is going to be the wide receiver that you're going to want from this offense. That's my conjecture. Rank up a big believer in Rashad Bateman bidding on him yesterday. Higher than the offer, uh, the initial valuation crazy, on Shark yeah. Rank. Big fan there, but let's see how much of a fan all of these guys are of their waiver wire targets. Cindy, if you had to rank your top three, how would you put them? Well, I'm going with Dernis Johnson first, and then at number two, I'm going with Khalil Herbert, so I'm with you on that one. Mm -hmm. And then number three is Ricky Seals Jones. If for some reason he's not available, grab him, put him in your team, and start him because you need a tight end. Oh, I like that. We have some crossover. I'm going to do Khalil Herbert number one because that was my guy. Number two, Dearness Johnson. Good call, Cynthia. And at number three, I'm going to double down on the Cleveland Browns here. Say Donovan Peoples-Jones. DPJ. Michigan. I like Michigan. it. Yeah, ooh, Michigan. Okay. Shout out. Well, let, let, let's say those top two are off the board. Okay. So I'll start with Rashad Bateman as my number one guy. But some additional players that you could be looking at. Uh, Ramadre Stevenson. Uh, oh, and uh, Demetric Felton. Sorry. He slides in the middle. Honestly, uh, he probably uh, takes the role of Kareem Hunt because he's a pass-catching back. So I think both those guys are going to get an opportunity with this Browns offense. 